Howdy, howdy, howdy. I hope you guys are having a doggone great day. All right, we're gonna get started. We are gonna be drawing a Yorkshire Terrier. This is a request from one of my art students named Macy, and she'd like to name the dog Lottie because she has a Yorkshire. Okay, so we're gonna get started. We're gonna do its head, and it's going to be an oval. And we're gonna go down the middle, and we'll go across the middle. Okay, so on that line, we're gonna have the eyes pretty much and the nose. So we have a nose here. And then we will have the eyes. You can have them on that line or you can just do right above the line. And the shinies, which will eventually, we're gonna sharpie those puppies in there. And I also did a shiny on the nose. So we can, I guess we're gonna use that part, but. Okay, so what I want you guys to do, make a little line here, and then we're gonna do its mouth. So it's gonna go down and then up, down and up, and then I, oh, that's a racist. I put a tongue sticking out, because there's nothing cuter than a little puppy dog. It's kind of like lopsided here. Let's get this fixed here. All right, and then put a shiny in there. So we will sharpie this eventually in. All right, so let's put the ears in there. So they're rounded triangles. Another rounded triangle. And then you wanna put the line in there. And we can erase in here. So we're gonna be making some hair. So um, it's gonna be having hair all around. So, cause they are hairy. <gasps> oh, I found out that they have, they're like, they have hair like humans that, not fur, that just keep growing. So if you don't cut it, it just keeps growing. So they have to be groomed. So they've got hair. And then let's put some hair in the ears, hair over here. And then I put the eyebrows in, which they really actually have pretty crazy eyebrows. Pretty much just all fur. But we're just going to show that as we color it. All right, we're gonna put some fur. Oh, let's do its muzzle right here. So it just comes off of its nose. Then you wanna just make in its muzzle. And then down here, we're just gonna make it point. So this will look better once we sharpie it all. I'm just drawing some, get rid of some of those lines. hairs on the sides here. You can just do a couple of hairs if you want, but it's definitely, it's one furry dog. Well, it's not fur. It's one hairy dog. Learn something new. Now, it has so much hair down here, but I just um, made it just look like different layers. So, and for its body, it's a nice shape, but I'm likely gonna just draw in the shape just so you guys can see the shape before we put all the hair on it. Actually, it looks kind of cute just like that. It looks like a little bobblehead. Uh, I learned that they initially were bred to be rat exterminators for their feisty nature. So people would have them around is because they were good at finding rats. So we've got a tail and then we're just gonna put the extra fur different colors. And then I put uh, some dark fur back here, and then you can turn this into fur. So do this, I'm gonna put some fur on it. Excellent, and then down here, we're gonna put, just show you where its paws are gonna be, two circles. And erase in here so we know where it's connected. And then he's got this little back, back paws. And then you can just add hair and little paws. 
Oh, I also am bringing the back in, so it, it kind of looks like it's behind, so it's not all one. Yep. So if you can see there, maybe I'll put an extra line right there. If you want to add some more fur in there, you can, wherever you want. And let's see, what else did I find out? They used to be called broken haired Scotch Terries because they were from Scotland and that was their name. All right, so I want you guys to, if you want, I put hearts all around because I'm like, it's so cute. So Sharpie the whole thing, double if you want, and here we go. done sharpening. Do you want to take your eraser? Okay, these are the colors I used. Red, pink, light brown, regular brown, and tan. That's what I used. And then you can do a blue background. So I am going to use mm, tan for most of it. So the ears are going to be light tan. And around the eyes are gonna be light tan. What else did I learn? Uh, oh, this is a cute story. So during World War II, there was a soldier. Um, his name was Bill Wine, W-Y-N-E. And he found a Yorkshire Terrier in a foxhole. That's what they're in when they're not wanting to like shoot people they're like it's like a hole they dig in the ground and he found it, it a little Yorkshire and he named it he named her Smokey and it was officially the first therapy dog is that so cute he probably shared his food with Smokey I'm just gonna color this lightly and then I'll go around the edges I think if I would like to get a dog, I would want it to be a Yorkshire Terrier. The only thing I did here is that um, since they have such little teeny parts, that sometimes they have can have medical problems. Um, but oh, they're so cute. I'm not a big dog person. For some reason, they want to bite me. So I try to stick to um, little dogs. But my husband thinks little dogs are rats. Okay, went around the edge there. I'm gonna go around its mouth, under his tongue, around his nose. All right, and then his whole body down here is gonna be this light, I'm just gonna go over it lightly, tan color. The tip is going to be tan. We have a Cairn Terrier, and we named our dog, maybe I'll draw it sometime, Toto. And it looks like, other than not being black, from the Wizard of Oz. It's a good dog. She likes people, but she likes them for just one minute. And then she's like, okay, I'm done. Thank you for loving me. Time to move on. Let me go hide because I have a, a bunch of art students and uh, the art students love on her and just love her to pieces. Sometimes she goes and hides because sometimes she's like, yeah, I'm done with the loves. And all the kids are like, where's Toto? And I'm like, um, probably hiding. <laughs> so I'm just going around the edge. I'll probably come in here and give it some more of the dark. 
So let's go in with the regular. This is just a regular brown. And I'm gonna actually go down, go and pressing down hard to make it that dark color. If I didn't press hard, I'll show you what it would look like. This is like medium. You see the difference? So I'm pressing down hard on the regular brown to give it that dark look. Part of its tail is gonna be dark. And then I'm gonna just do some under the, the tummy here. I saw a lot of different colors, but I kind of just stuck with this color. I might do a little bit on the back paws too. It's a little shadowy. So Macy, I don't know what your dog looks like, but I'm hoping that somewhat look like this. I guess I should have asked for a picture. So I'm gonna go around and we're gonna make it dark up here and then it's gonna fade lighter and we'll just use the, so I'm just doing it really dark along the edges. You can hear it as I'm pressing down harder. It sounds like that. I had a friend growing up that, okay, it might have been like a Yorkshire, it was a little teeny dog. And every time that we'd come over, the dog would get so excited that it would pee on us. <laughs> I'm like, eh, I could do without that part. But yep, had to tinkle every time. I guess I was so happy. So I'm just gonna go lighter and lighter because then I'm gonna go in with the light brown. Make it fade into a light brown. So let's come in here with the, this is the light brown. So I'm just gonna kind of like make a little mark here. It's gonna start dark. And as you come up, it's gonna go lighter. Super, and oh, inside of his eyebrows, I actually made them um, tan color. Come in his ears, oops, make it maybe a little touch brown there and then just come in light. I saw white inside there. Well, let's get that tan before it dries me crazy. So um, on this one, I made it actually dark and I didn't like it dark. So I made it, I erased it. So that's as light as I got. So if you wanna keep it like a white you can or you can color it any color you want in there. Uh, do I like it white? I think I actually like it white, so I might keep it white on this one. You can see the difference, so he has like a little white tummy. Matches inside of his white ears. And his tongue uh, is red. Oh, it looks like I used a different kind of red, that's okay. That works. And uh, I did pink, a little pink for the cheeks. So this is little cutie Lottie. All right. And for my art students, if they do one of my videos and they bring in their picture, they get a piece of candy. So maybe I'll be seeing this in the future there, Miss Macy. And anyway, so you can do hearts on the outside, do some blue, or maybe if you want it out in the meadow, put some green grass, that'd be cute. Anyways. Have a doggone rescue rest of your day.